Cortez. My name is Adrian and this is Nelson. My name is Allie and this is Moose. My name is Bella and this is Hank. I'm Toby and this is Billy. I'm Hannah and this is Copper. I'm Morgan and this is Mo. I'm Alex and this is Coco. Hi, I'm Riley and this is Leo. I'm Sammy and this is Cutter. I'm Gabby and this is Cassie. Welcome to Split Out Summer Camp 2015. Today we're going to learn about horses and grooming. Once you have your horse in the cross ties, you can start to curry them. Use your curry comb to do big circles all over the horse's body. Remember, don't curry your horse's face or leg. After using the curry comb to loosen up hair and dirt, you're going to brush it off with the hard brush. The hard brush, as called the danger brush, has stiff bristles. You're going to go along with the grain of your horse's coat. We're going to finish off with a soft brush. You can use this all over your horse's body, including the face and legs. The soft brush, also known as the finishing brush, gives your horse's, a, gives your horse's coat a nice shine and polish to it. Finally, we have hoof picking. You want to squeeze down your horse's leg to ask them to pick up their hoof. While picking out your horse's hoof, you want to make sure there is no dirt or rocks. Check for any loose shoes or cracks. After you're done riding and your horse is sweaty and needs a bath, you can start by hosing their legs. Once your horse's legs are wet and his rip and he's used to the temperature, you can start by hosing your body. Once you are done hosing off your horse, you can either shampoo him or sweat scrape him. We use the sweat scraper to get all the excess water off of the horse's coat. We can't keep the water on because it'll cause him to heat up. 